Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for part two of our butt kicker review. In today's episode, we will download all the software, connect all the hardware, and then try to get it synced up with Microsoft Flight Sim. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. Before we get started in today's episode, I just have one disclaimer. Butt Kicker did send me the product for review. However, I am not being paid for my videos and all the opinions about the product are mine and mine alone. If you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, or if there was something you would like to see specific about the Butt Kicker, let me know down below in the comments section and I'll get it in the next video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so I think the first thing we'll do is download the Hapti Connect software from Butt Kicker. Now I have a couple things to go over here before we jump over to the PC. If you purchased your Butt Kicker from a third party website, then you need to register your product on their website before you can download the Hapti Connect software. All right, so now let's hop over to the PC so we can download all the software. Also, please keep in mind during today's video, I will have to switch over to the microphone on my handheld camera so that I can show you everything that I'm doing. So I apologize for the audio, but it's what it's gotta be. All right, so let's hop over to the PC. I will have the links down below for the Butt Kicker website. However, there is no affiliate link. I just have that down there for your convenience. But just keep in mind to download the Hapti Connect software, you have to purchase it first, and then they will send you a link for the software itself. Once you have the software downloaded, we're gonna head to the download section or wherever you have it downloaded to, and we're gonna run the application. So we're just gonna double click. And it looks like it's going to bring us to a Hapti Connect setup wizard, so we'll just follow through with this. For today's demonstration, I will leave all the installation folders, what is specified here as default. Accept the agreement. Add a start menu shortcut. And we're ready to install. All right, so it looks like everything has finished installed. We're going to click the finish button. So let's click on the Hapti Connect software and see what we got. If this is your first time opening this application, it's gonna ask you for an email and password. This is gonna be the email and password that you set up for your Butt Kicker account. Once you have the information entered, you will then be presented with this screen. Now, because we don't have anything configured yet, it will say not configured. We're just gonna hit the configure button over on the right hand side. This will now take us through a setup wizard for where you have your Butt Kicker located and how many of the Butt Kickers that you have. So for us today, we're going to select mono. Below that, we have the butt kicker and channel output to send the haptics to. And we have an option here for butt kicker input. We'll just select that. And this will be selected for output number one. Now, because we don't have anything connected, we're not going to be able to test anything. So at this point, I'm going to go grab the handheld camera and we're gonna connect all of the hardware up to our PC. All right, first things first, we are going to connect the power to the back of the receiver or the amplifier, and then I'm also gonna run the USB-C cable from here to my PC. Okay, so I've mounted the transducer underneath of my chair, and there's a couple things that I wanted to go over with everyone first. The first thing is the actual mount itself is about an inch and a half from top to bottom. So you're gonna lose about an inch and a half of distance of travel for your chair. So you need to keep that in mind. If you're someone that needs to keep your chair all the way down, then this is not going to work for you mounted to the post of your chair. So what I would recommend to do before you purchase this for your chair is to go underneath of your chair, push down the little plastic cover, and measure the distance on this post that you have. As long as you have about an inch and a half of clearance, this will be able to be mounted to the underneath of your chair. You wanna make sure that you tighten this down really good because this is gonna be vibrating quite a bit. 
The other thing I did was I took the cable from that and ran it up the side and down the back of the chair to come out right on the back side of the chair like this. So I think for right now this will help prevent me from running over it with the chair. All right, the only thing left we have to do is to connect up the big cables to the amplifier and to the transducer. So let's get that done. Taking a look at the back of the amplifier, we have red to red, black to black. Keep in mind, I do not have the power on yet. Everything is still power off. Over here on this side, we've got us connected to our chair. All right, so now let's jump back over to the PC. We'll turn on the power to the unit and we will also test it with the Hapti Connect software. So let's go. All right, so now that we have everything connected to our PC, I have already powered on the amplifier for the butt kicker, and we're gonna go back into the configure and just do a test to make sure that we feel it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, so one thing I noticed here, you do not wanna use the butt kick input uh, virtual audio device. Once you have everything connected and powered up, you will see the speakers butt kicker plus, and that's what you're gonna select here. And when I run the test, yeah, I feel it in my chair. If you are gonna be using an audio splitter, you're gonna to have to use this section here, I believe, to adjust some of these settings, but we're using the USB-C to the haptic connect, so we don't need to go that route. The other thing that I ran across here is if you click on Microsoft Flight Simulator, we now have a bunch of different settings that we can adjust specifically for the simulator. At the top, we can add different profiles. So I guess this would be for if you have different planes, general aviation versus commercial, you can set this up differently for each of those. But for today, I'm gonna leave everything as default and let's see what it feels like once we load into the sim. Before we load up the sim, I just wanna show you the front of the amplifier so you can see what it looks like when it's all lit up. Now, please keep in mind that you do not want to keep this sitting on carpet because there's just not enough airflow underneath. The other thing that I want to go over is they have a quick start guide that they include with the package. On the very back of the quick start guide, all the way at the bottom, they do give us some recommended settings if you're going to be using this for games, music, or movies. So we're gonna set this up according to what they recommend on the back here, and let's see how it works. All right, so for games, they recommend that the low cutoff switch be in the off position. They recommend that the high cutoff switch be on, and they recommend an 80 hertz frequency for your high cutoff. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. All right, so as you can see here, the low cutoff filter is on. We're gonna turn that off. The high cutoff filter is on. If you turn it off, then your display will go out. And we're gonna set this to 80. 80, volume, we're gonna leave on 30 for now. We'll adjust that here in a moment. Okay, so now that we have the recommended settings from Butt Kicker, let's fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator and see if we can get this bad boy working. Okay, so one thing that I noticed once I started up Microsoft Flight Simulator is that I had a vibration in my seat the whole time, but I didn't have any audio coming through my speakers. Well, what I have found was the Hapti Connect software actually changed my speaker preference on my PC. So I had to go down and select my speakers again, and then I had the audio coming out where it should. I also needed to go back on the Hapti Connect software and reselect the Butt Kicker Speakers Plus so that the Hapti Connect software is properly connected to the Butt Kicker. So if that happens to you, don't worry. Just go down. It probably changed your speaker settings on your PC. All right, so now let's jump back over to the sim. We'll spawn in and see what it feels like. God. All right. We're idling right now. We're idling right now. I need to bring the camera down. So hopefully the sound that's coming through will, uh, will transmit.
I mean, it literally sounds like there's a plane running right here by the way this thing sounds. Oh my God. All right, so another thing I just discovered is if you put this on 50, at least for mine, that's 100%. So that's why I was feeling this so pronouncedly, and hopefully the sound came through when I had it on 100. And it's actually kind of cool because as I'm feeling the engine running, I'm watching the screen and looking at the vibrations of the plane and it's doing the exact same thing. So this, this is really cool. All right, keep in mind, I haven't changed any of the Hapti Connect settings. They are all still default. So let me show you real quick. I wonder what would happen if I turn, holy cow. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. Thanks everybody for joining us today. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. If you would like to see part three of the series, click up here if it's available. Thanks for watching.